Hey guys, welcome back to another Vinny Built Structures video. In this video, we're going to go over the next part for uh, my HL Scratch Build Engine House for uh, Eric Ehlers. Um, this video, I'm going to show you how I put the walls together. And uh, it'll probably be the last video I show of this build until it's finished. Uh, only because there's going to be some, surpri some surprises on it. And I don't want... Uh, uh, Eric to see it until I do the reveal. Anyhow, um, before we get on with the uh, procedures, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my subs. Um, this guy does really nice work, very uh, imaginative mind. Uh, the last video I watched of his was on a parking lot. Um, you gotta take a look at his stuff. Uh, it's um, retrain run. Let me make sure. Retrain running. I'll put it down here someplace where you guys can see it uh, but you need to check him out he's got some really nice stuff going on um, if you like him subscribe I mean I'm sure he'll love the subscriptions uh, anyhow uh, let's get on with the build and uh, we'll be back in a few bye alright guys in this video I'm going to show you how I get this monster to be as square as possible uh, in order to do that we need to start with the foundation again, like I mentioned earlier, that every build starts from the bottom and works up. But uh, anyhow, like uh, I said, that this build is huge. Um, Eric, I think I'm going to have to hire a semi-truck. Uh, if Chuck Baker's available, maybe we can ask him. Anyhow, uh, let's get over to the uh, workbench and I'll show you how we start to get this building as square as possible. Uh, be back in a minute. Alright guys, what you're looking at here is the foundation for Eric's engine house. Um, as you can see, um, I've got a square at every corner. I have determined how far I want it in from the edge of the, of the uh, foundation on both sides. If I can show you this side also, right there. And then uh, this spot right here will be for the office building and this spot here will be for the uh, machine shop that I intend to build <coughs> excuse me each one of those will have their own little foundation set up um, what I'm using for the foundation in this build is uh, another evergreen product number 187 it's 125 thousandths by 156 um, also in this build uh, we're going to start assembling this this building and I'll show you how I start putting the walls together uh, once I get the foundation done uh, then we can line everything up make sure it all fits and then we'll start putting the walls together anyhow stay tuned for more and uh, we'll be back shortly alright guys what you're looking at is a test fit of the building on the uh, foundation after I have installed the um, wall to floor supports uh, to, you, to do this task this is what I use, the uh, testers uh, plastic cement, it's the uh, liquid kind, works really well. Anyhow, um, as you can see, it fits pretty well. Uh, I do have to make a few adjustments. Um, for instance, this wall right here is just a bit too long um, because when I cut them, I cut this one, this one, and this one at the same width, but I knew that I would have to adjust this one because I have a splice joint here and the splice joint, I have to make up the difference on the, length, the width of the building. Uh, also, back here, down in here, you can see that there's a little bit of a gap. If I push it in like that, you can see right in the corner, there's still a little bit of a gap. So that means that I need to trim this wall down by a little bit also. Um, other than that, uh, this is how it's going to be. And Eric, I want to tell you something, buddy. This is one big building. I'm going to have to hire a boxcar to get it out to you. But anyhow, that's what it's going to look like. Of course, none of the walls are all squared up yet. Um, but that will be um, the next part of this video. We'll be putting the, uh, putting the walls together. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned and we'll be back with more on this HO scratch build for Eric Ehlers. I'll be back in a few in a little bit. 
All right, guys, we're back at the uh, work table right now, and we're going to join together the first two walls. Uh, now, remember, um, what I'm showing you um, applies to all the wall sections, but I'm only going to show you the first two, uh, just to keep the length of the video down a little bit. I know you, some of you guys want the videos to be a little longer, but uh, I need to accommodate uh, all my subscribers. So... Um, basically, uh, what I do on one wall will be done on all the other walls. So, uh, we're going to join the front wall to the short, <laughs> short, well I mean short this way, uh, short wall. Anyhow, um, I've already got some of this stuff prepared. i um, going to be using the... Uh, Hold on, let me get it. I'm going to be using the uh, Evergreen uh, 100 by 100 um, in the corners to secure the walls. Um, let's put this the right way before we screw it up. <coughs> um, and what they'll do is, since the front wall is going to be the inside wall, what I mean in between the two side walls, um, so I put my um, uh, styrene strips on the short wall first. So let me move you down to the table and we'll show you what I'm talking about. No, that's too bright. Is that better? I hope. Anyhow, uh, maybe not. This, this light is either too bright or too dull. Anyhow, um, what we're going to do first is we're going to, uh, you guys remember I put masking tape on here. So now I took the masking tape off and I have bare plastic. So I was using um, the uh, Model Masters cement. And the reason why I'm using the Model Masters is because it gives me a little bit more time to work. Anyhow, uh, we're going to apply the glue. And these are actually cut a bit shorter because of the uh, bottom uh, support that I have for the walls. And the reason why I'm using this glue is because it gives me a little bit more time to work. So I'll put it on there. And I'll make sure it's, uh, make sure it's even. And we'll give that a few seconds to set up. And while that one's setting up, we'll go ahead and put one on the other side also. And like I said, I have these already pre-cut. These are also... Uh, sturdy up the walls a bit, give them a little bit more strength vertically, and as long as they're even, we're good. So we'll give that a few minutes to set up, and then the next thing I'll do is we'll uh, get it ready to sit on here, and we'll do the same thing, we'll use the same glue, and since I don't have all the fancy tools like most of you guys or some of you guys have, uh, we're just going to be using my square. Since I'm on glass, it should be a pretty good 90 degree angle. Oh, um, by the way, um, I told you guys I had to modify a couple of walls. Uh, well, that's all done. So basically, um, the building is going to start going together. And like I mentioned in my intro, that uh, I'm not going to show this building after this. Uh, after I show you all the walls together, um, that's as far as this video goes until... Uh, we get near completion. Once we get near completion, or at completion, uh, I will show you the complete completed build. Anyhow, let's move on here. And so, we'll apply some glue here now. And then we'll just take our wall 
and like I said, this is the inside wall, and we'll just put him on there. And we'll get my square, push him out. I don't worry too much about the corners because the corners um, get uh, trim on them, so they don't have to be exact, but I try and get them as exact as possible. And so we'll let this sit here for a second, and I'll hold it, make sure it was square. And we're looking good so far. And we'll just let this sit up here. And basically, um, I do the same for all four walls, and then the, the wall in the center will get a little, a little bit different treatment. Um, but basically, it'll be the same. Um, I'll probably show you that when I get to that part. Um, but for now, we're going to get the four main walls together. And now, we'll take this, and hopefully, I can flip it over. And nice, very nice. Need to push it out just a bit here. A bit more there. And now I can also check it for square, like that. So you can see that, guys. You can see if I can zoom in here a bit. My uh, little square that I have. And uh, it looks like it's uh, pretty dang straight to me. Of course, it's not going to fit on this table. I'm going to have to move over to the other table here pretty soon. But anyhow, um, basically, that's what it's going to be. So, let's zoom you out a bit. And move you around. And you can see I have the white line undone here. Um, I will be putting the windows in before I go any further with the doors, and that's basically just gluing the windows in. I don't think I need to show that to you guys. Any All right, guys, here we are at the dining room table with uh, Eric's monster engine house sitting on it. Uh, I want you guys to see that I put the uh, corner trim pieces on here and here and here, basically around the entire building. And what I use for that was uh, another evergreen product. It's number 294 and it's eight inch angle. I swear I'm gonna make these guys millionaires yet. Anyhow, um, you guys know um, that I use those little triangle pieces. Let me see if I can find one, hang on. I use these little triangle pieces to uh, basically secure the uh, walls and make them straight. But on this build, I couldn't do that. So, one of the surprises I got for Eric is that I put a little, uh, if you want to call it a tool, sh tool shed, or if you want to call it the uh, operation manager's office, or whatever. But uh, I also put the safety lines down. And uh, this eventually, it'll get glued down, and it'll be a support for this wall. And the reason why I had to do that is because this wall is missing so much plastic that it was really flimsy. So anyhow, uh, Eric, let me see if I can get around here because I'm on tethered right now. Hang on a second, let me unplug that. I did install a couple of the windows just to get an idea of how it's going to look. But I'm not going to put the rest of the windows in until I put a dull coat on the inside walls. And uh, I seem to be having problems getting these little guys right here. Anyhow, um, hope you guys are enjoying the build. Uh, so far, I think the videos are going pretty smooth. Um, I hope you guys get some kind of information out of these builds that I do. Um, and feel free to use any of my uh, suggestions, techniques, or whatever. Anyhow, for now, that's all, folks. BNSF 6951. Out.